Welcome to another awesome video by RugDoc, where I'm going to teach you all about smart contract audits. In this video, I'm going to go over exactly what smart contract audits are, why they're important, some risks in smart contract audits, and I'm even going to go over some of the best audits. So stay tuned and watch this video. Now, audits are usually the first line of defense when it comes to protecting your funds, as auditing companies will usually be able to scan the code of a smart contract to see if there's any risk for exploits. But even though a project might have an audit, that doesn't mean it's really secure. Take the case of Pancake Bunny, which did have three audits, but still managed to get exploited. Now, according to the auditing company Hacken, 76.5% of cryptocurrency projects have either not passed a security audit or have not publicly disclosed the fact that they have been audited. So yeah, that's a pretty big deal if a project doesn't have an audit. Audits are important because they do provide that extra level of more detailed research and it's part of your own process of doing your own research before diving into any yield farm or cryptocurrency project. However, not all audits are equal. <clears throat> uh, tech rate. Anyway, there are some definite major audit risks whenever you are looking at an audit. First of all, people can actually forge audits. You've probably seen audited by PeckShield, Certic, or any other type of audit. However, that doesn't mean that it's real. In order for an audit to be real, it actually has to be published on the official website or even by a social media channel by the official auditing company. For example, you can take a look at this tweet by PeckShield. They said, we found another forged audit report. This report is not from PeckShield and we didn't audit this at Dow Finance IO project. So yeah, it's easy just to slap your own name onto a PDF file and claim that your project has been audited even though it has not been audited. So watch out for that. The second risk for audits is that the code is actually contained in GitHub repositories. So for those that don't know, GitHub is an online platform for open source code hosting and collaborative software development. In other words, GitHub is basically an open book where people can see developers codes and people can post codes on this platform. However, this doesn't mean that the codes are actually the real smart contracts that are being audited. Basically, a developer can say, hey, this is my code that's been audited on GitHub. However, the code in the smart contract can be completely different. So yeah, you wanna make sure that the code matches the smart contract whenever you're looking at the GitHub audits. A third risk is that whenever an audit is done, the audit can be on certain smart contracts and not others. For example, take a look at this audit by Hacken. You can see that there is a lot of different contracts out of the scope of the audit, which means that the auditing company did not actually look through any of these smart contracts. So there definitely could be a risk of exploit for these different smart contracts that are out of the scope of the audit. And the last risk is a, well, sadly, it's a lack of skill. Because, you know, auditors are people just like you and me. We have our own flaws, we make our own mistakes. So spending too much time sipping coffee and a lack of sleep can definitely make some things slip by our grasp. And this unfortunately happens in the world of auditing. So let's take a look at some of the best audits and some of the worst. And I'll let you know my opinion on what auditing companies are more trustworthy and which ones you should probably just flush in the toilet. Okay, so guys, I gotta get this out of the way. Let's start with tech rates. Oh boy, I love tech rates and I hate it. I love it because they give away tech rate audits like free candy. Every single project can get a free audit, even those that can't afford it. Now, as you might guess, free audits are as valuable as a popsicle stick. So yeah, free doesn't necessarily mean good. And in the case of tech rate, whenever you see an audited by tech rates badge, be very, very careful. There are many, many projects that have been exploited or rugged just because they have had the free tech rate audit. Now, tech rate even has a premium audit, which they do charge money for, but I'm not sure that's any better than their free audit. Tech rates free service actually relies on automated scanning tools that search for code for bugs and vulnerabilities. So in short, we can pretty much say nobody really looks at the code in the free service. 
There's just some quick scans to see if there's anything potentially malicious or buggy that matches their existing database. Let me repeat that. They look for code that looks for existing code in their database. So if there's new novel code or new chances for exploits, yeah, TechRate's probably not going to catch that. As you can see on TechRate's website, you can see this nice button that says get free audits. Definitely, definitely do your own due diligence and don't fall for the trap right here. If you even scroll down, you can see there's a ton of different projects that have been audited by TechRate. What is this all on the same day? Huh? Yeah, so there's a ton and uh, you're going to see a lot more from where this comes from. Not all of these audits are trustworthy. I would definitely not trust them. And a lot of these projects you probably never heard of. So yeah, definitely be careful whenever you are going through TechRate and take their audit with a grain of salt. So yeah, I'm gonna give that a four out of 10. Sorry TechRate, but they need to step up their game. <sighs> okay, now that we got that out of the way, let's look at something a little bit more stomachable, shall we? Okay, now here's Hacken. Hacken is a cybersecurity firm based in Kiev, Ukraine, and it focuses on blockchain security. They don't only do auditing either, they actually have some community-driven bug bounty programs called Hacken Proof, and yeah, so they're a little bit more experienced than TechRate. They've audited some DeFi projects like Goose Finance, Kyber Network, Ramp DeFi, Ellipsis Finance, and some many others that you might be familiar with. Their auditing process not only involves automated scanning like TechRate, but they also do manually review their code so it's a little bit more secure. So while Hacken's audits are a step above TechRate, that doesn't really mean that their audited projects are bulletproof either. For example, Merlin Labs, a fork of the popular Pancake Bunny farm, was involved in an exploit and they lost 240 ETH. Okay, so that was just 11 days right after Hacken passed the project with their audit. So yeah, definitely be considerate of Hacken and their accuracy is not 100%, but definitely better than tech rate. So for hacking, I would give that a 6 out of 10. Next up, we have one of our favorite auditing companies here called Paladin Blockchain Security. Paladin is a rather new auditing company on the block. However, they have a lot of security measures that they take and their audits are a lot more trustworthy than the other ones so far. So they don't do automatic scanning at all. Their team of blockchain experts manually comb through the code line by line. So they try to get a holistic understanding of every function and its purpose throughout the smart contract code to look for potential loopholes and exploits. Paladin also indicates if the final deployed contract matches the one in the GitHub so there's no need to dig up information to see if the contracts match. So uh, there is a big downside for Paladin though, the team is not docked, so you don't really know who's behind the team and they are rather new in the space. However, their audits are pretty solid and they have good detail inside their auditing reports and they have a very user-focused approach to security, so they will call out any exploits and loopholes. So the final rating for this one is a 9 out of 10. Up next is another one that's trusted in the blockchain space and this is Consensus Diligence. Consensus Diligence has a contract auditing service under the Consensus umbrella and they have a lot of other projects under that as well. You may be familiar with this company if you heard of certain projects like Uniswap, One Inch, Ave and even Paxos. So yeah, they are pretty big in this space. A downside of using consensus is that they can be very costly and they have a huge backlog because they are on high demand. But they are a top of the line blockchain auditing company and they do have academic research that they published in the security field. So for this one, I'll give it an 8.5 out of 10. And for auditing company number five, I'm going to go over Certic. Certic is a very popular auditing company and I'm sure a lot of people have heard about Certic. They've audited a ton of companies from PancakeSwap, Aave, OneInch, Binance, etc. Certic was founded by science professors from Yale and Columbia and they have built a solid reputation for themselves as an industry standard. Cointelegraph even touted them as being the most capitalized blockchain security company on the market, aka they're making a ton of money. Oh yeah, and also the big boy Binance also partnered with Certic as well, as you can see in this tweet right here. They have a proprietary formal verification algorithm, which is basically a fancy term of saying that it uses math to find common vulnerabilities. 
They also have a real-time on-chain monitoring system that shows a security score and any potential issues that could be found on a project. But Certic is not as great as you might think it is because they don't actually list potentially malicious code as high risk. For example, the infamous migrator code which has the ability to transfer all users staked funds out of a smart contract is not actually flagged as a major threat in the review. So yeah, even though Certic is generally considered the industry standard, there are some risks with Certic and they're not always accurate or as secure as some other auditing companies. So for this auditing company, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Now I only reviewed 5 different auditing companies in this video. There are a ton of other auditing companies like Obelisk, Open Zeppelin, and Omnisia that I can link down below in the description to take a look at in our article. So for a list of all 11 auditing companies and some more questions you might have about different smart contract audits, definitely take a look in that article. Now I hope you guys learned something and you learned a little bit about security and what smart contract audits are and why they are important for the DeFi space. So if you do love this type of content, make sure to subscribe and like our YouTube channel. And as always guys, have an amazing day and stay safe out there in the DeFi space.